So today I'm talking about a P0443 code, what it is and how you can go about fixing it. And I'm going to put links down below for everything I'm looking at here. But what is a P0443 code? Well, it's an EVAP purge control valve circuit malfunction. And what does this mean? Well, basically the onboard computer is having a problem communicating with the purge control valve. And what and what is this purge control valve? Well, it's basically a small device that that has to do with emissions. It's part of the EVAP system, which stops the gas vapors from escaping into the atmosphere. And the purge valve stays closed when the engine's off, and it opens when the engine's running, and all the so all the gas fumes can run back into the engine and get burnt off. So that's basics of what a what a purge valve is. Pretty simple little device, and it's just for emissions. And what are some symptoms? Well, the engine light will come on and you won't be able to pass a smog test. Usually the vehicle will still drive okay. Most often it might get like a little bit less gas mileage, but usually it'll still be drivable, but you won't be able to pass a smog test. So if you've got that coming up, you'll definitely have to get it fixed. And what's the cause for a P0443 code? Well, bad gas cap, that's the most common one. It could be a fuse, uh, anything on the circuit that's related with the purge valve. It could be a, the wiring, like the harness or a short or anything like that. And it could be just the bad purge valve itself. And so I'm going to jump over on Amazon here. I'm going to give you an idea how much they cost. It's going to obviously depend on what vehicle you have, but they're usually around 50 bucks or less. So they're, they're not a really expensive component or anything. But so, so what do you do if you get a P0443 code? Well, the first thing to do is locate the EGR valve on your engine, which is usually on the top somewhere, and check the wiring. Be sure that there's no opens or shorts and that the harness is all good. And because a bad wiring can cause the same symptoms as a bad purge valve. And then the next thing to do would be to go ahead and replace this purge valve. They're usually it's pretty easy to replace. They'll have two, like, they'll quite often have like two hoses coming in and like two or three bolts holding them on. They're not, they're pretty simple usually to swap out. If they are difficult, it's usually because something else is in the way and you have to remove that component. But quite often, they're pretty simple to replace. And so once you check all the wiring, you check the harness and everything like that, and the purge valve is replaced, that usually will solve the problem like at least 90% of the time. If it doesn't, then there might be a problem somewhere else like with the onboard computer or something like that, which is pretty rare. That usually doesn't happen. Usually the problem will be, will be this bad purge valve. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to go give a basic overview of what a P0443 engine code is and how you can go about fixing it. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.